No days off for Will Zalatoris, man. He was sensational at the Masters. Right back at it here with the RBC Heritage. So, Jeff, what are your expectations for him? I, Will, Will Zalatoris is such a talented young player. I mean, you, you could go through the gamut here. You could you could say win. You could say, you know, he, he competes again. I'm going to take the different approach and, and just suggesting he had such a massive putting week, one of his best putting weeks, uh, you know, kind of as a pro in the majors. Um, yeah, the strokes gain tee to green was there, obviously, but – you know, this is just a, a bit of a different course. It, it's a bit of a different one in the sense that, you know, the off the tee doesn't matter as much here. If you're a little bit off around the greens or a little bit off with the putter, that'll get you. I'm going to say like T30 for Will Zeltors. Uh, You know, he's probably going to make the cut. He's probably going to be fine, but I think he does probably regress a little bit this week. So again, if someone just said, I said, Will Zeltors is my pick, I'd say that's fine too. That's how talented a player he is. But I'm going to say, you know, just, uh, just for the coming off the adrenaline, going down a little bit from the masters. I'm going to say he just, uh, he regressed a little bit and uh, puts in a T30. You expect something similar, Reed? Yeah. His last missed cut too, Jeff was back at the Sanderson farms. On yeah, he doesn't PGA miss cuts. Tour. Yeah. He just doesn't does miss. not miss cuts. This guy is automatic when it comes to watch him miss the cut after I say he's automatic, but um, <laughs> like he's, he's just a great player. And like Jeff mentioned, he's like his one Achilles heel, if there is any right now is this putter right? Is if that thing's not working, then, you know, it can, it can get bad in a lot of different ways, but here's, here's the thing too, that, you know, at the WC concession where he lost five strokes putting, he finished 22nd. He can gain it back with his ball striking because it's just elite. And the fact that this guy doesn't have his PGA tour card yet is, <laughs> is like unfathomable because he's got a sixth at the U S open and now he has a runner up at the Masters. So like he, he's going to be a primetime player, um, Dickie V shout out, but like, he's not necessarily someone that I have in my short list of players. Cause I'm with Jeff here. I think there is going to be a hangover. We rarely see guys, especially when RBC is after Augusta, we rarely see guys go back to back because so much equity sweat and mental equity is, is expended at, at Augusta and at a major. So I got him as a little bit of a hangover. I say top 30. Wouldn't be surprised if he's outside the top 30. 